I think we should start with the alleged breakup. And I'm going to sort of explain my theory on things between Dave Hollis and Heidi Powell, because lately they've been like canoodling all over the United States. Um, They just, Dave just went to a fitness competition and placed last in his division, according to himself. And uh, everything was honky dory there. They were kissing. I saw like you know, oh my God, you're my love. I love you, blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden, bing, bam, boom. I don't see, I don't see the love anymore. (laughs) Um, And like I said, I've been blocked from Heidi's Instagram, so I can't see her new stuff. Um, But here's a look at Dave's Instagram. Um, So yeah, so he's got his three at the pinned at the top. He's using his kids, you know, as we're going to be talking about today. His kids are everywhere. Uh, and here's his fitness thing. But um, I don't see I don't see Heidi's post anymore. Comment at one point. Well, maybe I can't because I'm blocked. But um, on her Instagram, there was a picture of them kissing. So and that was only from what? God, like a week ago, October 30th. So yeah, like exactly almost a week or a little bit more than a week ago. So that's how quickly things turn (laughs) in this world. You got to be, you got to be up on the trends. Okay. So, um, the first indication that something was awry was Heidi tends to, you know, post everything all the time, anything, any feeling she's ever had. She's like, you know what, who, you know, who needs to hear this? 500,000 people. (laughs) Because that's how many people follow her on Instagram. Um, Okay, so here's just an example of, this is where I think, I don't, this is from like the weekend. So this is where things I think started to go. Something happened, I don't know. This is all speculation. But she's doing a workout, but instead of just doing the workout and saying like, I'm having a hard day, here's the workout. Every slide, (laughs) she just gets a little, little drip of like the drama that's going on. Um, if you care to follow it. Okay. So she's like, I'm going to do this workout because my head and my heart need this even, and especially when I don't want it. Okay. Then she's doing her workout, whatever. Um, also that floor of the shelves needs some organization. Okay. Whatever. Uh, eyes closed, mind muscle connection and processing last night's therapy session. T Y V M too much. I don't know. I don't know what that stands for. I'm, I'm old. Apparently she's older than me, but apparently I don't know the trends of the words. <laughs> the only ones I know are IMO in my opinion. Cause I use that one a lot. Uh, okay. So she had a late night therapy session. Now I think she uses the word therapy lightly. <laughs> she's called therapy, uh, meetings with her life coach. You know, we've all been there, right? <laughs> I did that as well. However, I never sold courses to other people about me being mentally uh, well. So I think I'm allowed a little bit more slack than she does. Uh, Okay. Then she's like doing another thing and it's give me a few hours. I'll find that smile soon. Promise. It's been a 24 hours. That's for damn sure. Exercise is medicine. Okay. And then uh, when when she's in flip flops, just in case you know, you know what you want, you want the good, the good, good fitness, um, content. They're all wearing flip-flops apparently. So forget sneakers, just, just do whatever. (laughs) I mean, at least my other shelves are organized, you know, even the gloomiest days have little bright spots. Okay. So she's really laying it on thick that like, she is sad. <laughs> the last 24 hours are horrible. Last night therapy, last minute, whatever. So she's not hiding the fact that something has occurred. Um, okay, let's finish her off with a wonderfully angled video of slightly inclined chest press, shoulder, whatever. P.S. It's okay to have days like this. It's also okay to show it when you do. Life is a beautiful thing in that through the things that feel the hardest and the heaviest are the beautiful fruits of our hard work, our hearts and our faith. Okay, whatever. Um, And then another picture, this is from later, I believe. Uh, Then it says, funny how a day can start so heavy. And by nighttime, after a day of doing shit, you don't feel like doing and being loved on by those who will always be in your corner, a smile, a big one at that, 
appears like magic at fit too fat to fit. That's a dude name. I forget his name. Someone tell me it's like drew. I think it's name's drew. Is, is that right? He's another fitness influencer. So she tags him. Ooh, scandalous. Okay. Uh, thank you for loving my community today. I needed your words as much as they did. And then, okay, and then this is just a reminder that if you're like really interested in the juicy gossip tea, um, you know, all the speculations throwing around like, oh, something happened with Dave and, and Heidi, they're not liking each other's posts and stuff. Um, there's a mastermind that Heidi charged $5,000 for, um, and there was a lot of confusion. I was confused. Heidi was confused about which, you know, because there was one part of her challenge, her get fit challenge that we're actually going to show in a second. Um, that, uh, it was like 250 bucks and that you just go and you get like these, you know, the library of, of moves for each day. And then you get access to the community, but there was a secondary track where it was more intensive and there was more lives and like coaching sessions and like all these other things. You got a fanny pack and whatever. They had all these add-ons that did not <laughs> equal up to $5,000 in value in my opinion, but whatever. But at the end of it, there was supposed to be this big in-person mastermind event with Mel Robbins, the guy from fat to fit to fat, no fit to fat to fit the Andrew guy, um, Dave and, uh, Amy, what's her name? God, uh, she's another, not Amy, I want to call her Amy Poehler, but it's not it's something like that. And she is a, uh, like a inspirational speaker. I don't know if she's a Paralympian or she's, she, she does something in that world with fitness. And, um, it was, that was like the big draw to pay $5,000, right. For the mastermind that's coming. Oh, and Danielle as well, who's I'm showing on screen. She is the, I believe the therapist that Heidi is referring to when she says therapy session, but I could be wrong. Um, that's this weekend coming up. So will Dave arrive? Will he be there? Will he be in Arizona to live up to his expectations of being a keynote speaker at this mastermind? Will Heidi have it in her, uh, in her old home that she used to live with her ex-husband in again? You got to tune in to find out, but apparently you can't tune into Heidi's Instagram anymore. <laughs> Cause I can't either. Um, and she'll, she'll be there. And apparently it's, yeah, it's in Arizona coming up this weekend. So, and, and apparently, um, Mel Robbins is sick. So she's kind of got a, a good excuse, uh, to, to dip out on that, um, obligation. And here's just one more. Um, and apparently someone said that, that this is reused content, but I don't, quite remember I remember like these um post-it notes before but Heidi also posted this in case you were like thinking like the evidence of that sad workout and not sad that it was a bad workout but she was sad throughout the workout which is not convincing enough here's another sort of like wink wink I'm in the hard guys she loves her people the best thing to look at right before tonight's coaching zoom is a picture of her family that's on the floor and also um these post-it notes that are hyping Heidi up so, you know, you are capable, powerful, worthy, unconditionally loved, creative, determined, resilient, beautiful, empowering, a queen. So just, you know, given the vibes that all is not settled <laughs> in the world of Heidi and Dave. And Dave's been posting that he's going to church, which he hasn't been really doing or posting about lately. He was at his child's um, baseball game this weekend, which is sort of old school Dave behavior. He was posting song lyrics. I mean, it's just like, you know, I know we're in speculation territory, but I, I think it's fair enough to say something's got went down, perhaps, perhaps. And even, okay, we can just look quickly at his, at his, um, at his, uh, current things. This is what he's up to. I'm inquiring my here we go. It's first inning. So more Bases children's loaded. baseball. Final inning. Okay, he does this thing. Dave does this thing where he goes to his son's baseball. He announces where it is because why would you not want to know where his children are physically in the moment when he's posting? And he'll narrate the entire thing. And it looks like he's... He's, he's alone in this venture. Like, no one else is really participating in the constant filming and narration, but, you know. Here we go, Sawyer. Influencers got to influence, you know? So let's just, okay. So now he's on the field 
with his phone. Okay, more kid stuff. Okay, and then here's uh, here's the other using the children to profit his children's book with his daughter coming out. So all Dave's content these days is his children. You know, you got to find something else, Dave. Let's just say that. Um, and then one more indication. This is just all like sort of like, you know, hearsay proof, not, not really proof, but just um, things to consider while, while wondering if they're on, the, on a break. She also posted this whole post. And this is, this is her Facebook, which I am not blocked from. Um, that is just basically posts everything. So it seems that goes to her Instagram. Uh, so it's like, you are beautiful. You are sacred. I didn't believe these things about myself. And she posts this photo of like how she's really transformed herself from, you know, teen to woman. I don't know. So yeah. Interesting. Uh, to say the least, she's, she's posting a lot about you know, going through, going through the hard. Uh, all right, here is one other little piece of proof. And I promise I'm getting to the point about the children in just a second, but this is just all to lead up to why I'm sort of, this might be my last Heidi Powell video ever, perhaps, unless she does something crazy. Uh, okay, this is her challenge that she said she's no longer doing anyways, but it looks like I, I'm almost 100. I went to the way back machine and because of how that works, it was blank. You couldn't see like which photos were selected. So unfortunately I can't confirm for sure, for sure. I'm sure if I went back into my old videos, you could see it, but I almost positive Dave was featured on this, uh, website and someone on Reddit pointed out that he's gone. <laughs> he's no longer on here. And, uh, that would make sense. That would make sense that there he's done, he's gone. And, uh, he's, yeah, he's nowhere to be found on, on this website at least. And he was, you know, one of the keynote speakers at one point, um, going to be, I think I have a picture of that. Give me one second. Uh, he was going to be, um, you know, one of the one of the headlining performances at his own girlfriend's event I mean you can't make this stuff up guys like this is really just life-changing shiz right here uh let's see it doesn't matter I've already showed this before oh here it is here it is so this is what oh Amy Purdy was the one was the person I was thinking of so, so this is the original, uh, you know, pay five grand guys, five, five grand. And I'll, I'll make you a better person. I will, I will personally develop you myself personally. Um, this is her Heidi Powell mastermind, uh, Drew Manning. That's the fit to fat. Sorry. Yes. Fit to fat to fit guy, fitness dude that's affiliated with Chris and Heidi, Dave Hollis, you know, him. you love him. Uh, Mel Robbins. Okay. She's another one. Countdown from five, five, four, three, two, one. Anxiety is done. That's her. She's got a book called the five second rule and the high five theory or something. Five, five rule where you're supposed to high five yourself in the, in the mirror every morning and it's going to cure your depression. Roll my eyes. And then Amy Purdy, who is a, I haven't looked into her deeply, but I believe she had some sort of accident or something where she has a physical issue that she's overcome. And now she talks about how she still is like in the fitness space, athletic. I shouldn't speak about her cause I don't know. I've, I've seen her on my radar a couple times. She does speak at a lot of these events and I haven't looked further. So forgive me. I don't want to give too much like criticism to her cause I don't know enough. I'm willing to give her criticism. I just don't know if she's uh, deserving of it. Uh, so that's my theory. Uh, it looks like there's trouble in paradise. You know, this has happened before though, where Heidi kind of goes on this thing where she gets all sad and it's, you know, and Dave's cryptic and then they get back together. So I'm not, you know, I'm not holding my breath here. Um, but you know, we'll see. <laughs>